Alrighty, hello guys, welcome you faces back to another video on this channel, this is Frantic Extra, and today we're actually going to be building a viewer's design. So, let's go ahead and jump straight into this, and hopefully it will go well. So, new, this is essentially what we're going to do. I'm going to tell you guys straight away. So, we have a tubular body, okay? On the sides of the tubular body, we have two ramjets, which seems weird to begin with. On the edge of the ramjets, we actually have two little wings, and then on the top, next to the tail, we actually have a normal jet that is used for slow speed. So, I hope that I get your design right here. Um, I don't actually have a picture of it on the screen, but let's go ahead and see what we can do. So, uh, I have to get used to the building, because I've been building in Sprocket recently. Uh, but hopefully we can do this. So, this is going to start off being very small, okay? Like, really small, to be honest. We're going to go down to 0.5 on pretty much all of these, and that's going to be A-OK. -okay. We're going to go forwards, and we're going to do the same thing. So, 0.5 and 0.5. There we go. Good. Okay, that seems like it'll be fine. So, if we move this down, and we start building the actual aircraft, this will be okay. Okay, so go forwards from there, we're gonna go and extrude it, uh, and this is slowly gonna come to sort of like a point. It's not gonna be super pointy, but it's not gonna be not pointy at all. If that makes any sense whatsoever, but anyway, here we go. Let's do these guys, go ahead and send it forwards a little bit more than that. Do another one, that is gonna go down to 0. Uh, 0.25? 0. 0.25, yes. 0. 0.25 on this one as well, excellent. Then continue it, yes. This is going to be 0.1, excellent, and 0.1, and then we go ahead and extrude it one last time, make that zero, make that zero, there we go. Okay, lovely, nice, we have a little point on this thing, that's pretty cool. From there, we're going to go ahead and go backwards, clearly, because we need to. So extrude the fuselage, go ahead and send it backwards like so. Uh, it actually goes backwards, like, relatively flat. Like this. I'm going to make it slightly smaller as it goes backwards though, to 0.4 and 0.4. And then we'll go ahead and extrude it again. And this will be like 0.2 and 0.2. And that should be A-OK. -okay. Now this is actually quite a bit different to how they drew it. Uh, but that's OK. So they actually drew it where the tail would go up kind of slowly at the rear. Um, and I guess we could sort of do that, but I don't know. I don't know. Let's send this backwards by like 1. There we go, lovely. We're then going to send this guy backwards by one as well. There we go, and then the same with this guy, and that should be okay. Alright, there we go, good. Okay, so, let's go ahead and lift this guy up a tiny bit more. Lift this guy up a little bit more as well, there we go, fantastic. And this looks okay, kind of. I do feel like it should be a lot longer, but um, that's alright. In fact, let's make it longer, let's bring this forwards by like one. Uh, there we go. It is going to be a lot longer than it was, but that's fine. Here we go. It looks a little bit like a narwhal at the minute, but that's okay. Here we go. Keep it going by one. There we go. Excellent. Keep it going again by one again. There we go. And one last time, this guy by one. There we go. So now it is like a very long fuselage, but that's okay. Bam. Nice. Uh, now, I should mention, if you guys haven't seen Frantic Extra before, I don't actually edit these videos. They are just full-on just builds. Uh, I will build this, and I will test it. The video itself will probably end up being around an hour long. Um, unless I build it really quickly. In that case, it's not going to be an hour long. But we'll see. Anyway, what I want to do now is actually add a loop to there. Uh, we're also going to add a loop just behind this guy right here. And essentially, we're going to design this to hopefully look nice. So, let's go ahead and go to vertexes, go to this guy first, and, oh, actually, assign a material first. It is going to be a hole, because clearly we need to be able to, I don't know, see the pilot uh, on the inside. Um, so, there we go. Okay, good. Is that level? Maybe one more. There we go. That seems good. So, let's go ahead and stop assigning material, grab this guy, and grab the same one on the other side. Or you can just click mirror right here. That also works. So, we're going to go ahead and grab this guy. Uh, it is on mirror, so this should actually do both sides, which it does indeed. We're going to go ahead and send that guy backwards. We're then going to send this guy backwards. And then this guy is going to go backwards. And then this guy as well is also going to go backwards. There we go. I'm going to leave the bit in the middle relatively flat, and that's okay. Although, now that I'm thinking about this, this should all be way further forwards. So I'm going to send that to the front. There we go. We're then going to send this one forwards as well. 
Yes, there we go. And then we need the pilot to actually go in the front as well. So we just do this. There we go. And that is fantastic. So far, so good. I think this will be okay. Okay, so that is lovely. Let's go ahead and finish up the back end. Let's go ahead and just extrude this. Make it something like 0.1 and 0.1. Here we go. Send it backwards. Send it upwards slightly. And then extrude it again. 0, 0. Send it backwards again. And... That'll be it. There you go. So that is the back end of our aircraft. Nice. Okay, so quit this. What do you guys think so far? I think that looks okay. It looks decent. So we're now going to go to power. I'm going to get a ramjet. And I'm going to go ahead and attach this to both sides. Now we do need two of these because that is the design. We're going to make them smaller though. They're going to be 0.75. Yeah, that seems about the right size. Go ahead and move this out to the side so we get the whole shape of it. And now we're going to have to add extra bits. This is kind of crazy, but sure. So let's go ahead and get ourselves another fuselage. Here we go, one of these guys. Attach it onto there. Make this as small as that ramjet is. 0.75. Is it that big? It's nowhere near that big. 0.5. It's not even that big. 0.3. Maybe that's how big it is. 0.3 and 0.3. Uh, that's way too small. Okay, yeah, that's way, way too small. Maybe 0.5. Maybe it is. It's not. It's not. Maybe 0.4? Okay, that might do it. So 0.4 and 0.4. Send it forwards. Do the same thing. Okay, and the same thing. And then try and actually put this down onto there and see what it does. Yeah, okay, that's about the right size. Excellent. We did it! We got it somewhat the right size. Okay, so edit the fuselage. Go ahead and bring this all the way backwards to there. Um, actually... I'm going to do it to there, I'm then going to extrude it one more time. Going to bring it backwards and make it 0.35. And same right here. There we go. That seems okay. Actually a tiny bit smaller. 0.32? Maybe? Possibly? And 0.32. There we go. Okay, excellent. So we're going to leave it somewhat like that. The front end is going to go a little bit smaller as well. So extrude... No, 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 no. Delete that one. Go forwards. Extrude this guy. Make it 0.38. Just so it's a tiny bit smaller, and 0.38 right there. Bosch and Bosch, and I think that'll be okay. Yeah, it looks kind of cool. I think it'll work. I'm happy with it. All right, so next thing. We need an actual jet, like a normal one, uh, to go on top of the tail. I believe this is where they put it. I can't actually remember, but I think so. So this is going to go right here. We're going to lift it up slightly. I'm actually going to put it right there. And we're going to go ahead and crowd around that as well, essentially. So let's go ahead and add a fuselage around this. And hopefully that'll work too. So I believe it's 0.3, the size of this. Here we go. 0.3 and 0.3. This feels weird. I've got my camera on, but like, I don't feel like I need it to be on. But let me know if you guys, if you guys like these videos. In fact, let me know if you like the unedited videos altogether, because it's kind of cool. It's kind of fun. All right, that's way too big. Let's make it smaller. 0.25. Yes. Or maybe even smaller. 0.2. 0.2 is way too small. 0.25. All right, let's try it. And 0.25 again. Go forwards. Do the same thing. Yes. And yes. Okay, excellent. Grab this guy. Send it down into here. Bring it backwards to about there. And try and make it all fit. So I guess extrude it from there. Bring it backwards to here. And that'll be fine. I am going to make it a slightly weird shape by adding a little bit of size to this. 0.28, I guess. And 0.28 right there. Bam. Bit of a strange shape, but that's okay. Yes. All right, so we got our three engines. Now we just need wings and an actual cockpit. Because at the minute, that's not a cockpit. That's just a guy sat in a fuselage. Anyway, uh, I think we can do this by adding the wings next. So, lift, yes. We're going to have very skinny wings, but they are going to be on here. So, let's go ahead and attach this guy to there. We need a leading edge, and we need a trailing edge. There we go, fantastic. And we just need them to look nice. So, bring these guys backwards so they definitely fit. Bring all of these guys forwards so they fit also. Here we go. Oh, yeah, okay. This might be kind of more tricky than expected, but that's okay. If we grab each of these... I can actually send it into there. Going to bring this guy slightly sideways. Excellent. Uh, and this guy is going to come further backwards. There we go. Pretty weird, but that's okay. Grab this guy, send it forwards. This guy, send it forwards. And these guys, send it backwards. 
It's gonna have skinny wings like the F-104. There we go. Okay, that is a very small wing. Let's make it slightly bigger. There we go. Okay, I have managed to do this only on one side, so let's go ahead and do this on both sides. Attach that back onto where it should be, and send it inwards just a little bit. There we go. Little wings, hopefully they work. Okay, next thing, we have to do a vertical stabilizer, and we also need uh, horizontal stabilizers probably on top of that. So let's do that next. Here we go. Wing, yes. Smash this guy onto here like so. Flip it so that it works. Hang on. Oh, you guys get to see all of my mistakes in this as well, which is interesting. But yeah, here we go. So let's go ahead and flip it on its side. There we go. Nicely done. We're then going to open this up and bring these guys backwards to there. And these guys are going to come backwards too, to about here. And then all of this needs to come forwards in order to actually work. So send it forwards to there. Maybe not these two. They need to go backwards a little bit. And also, it's way too tall, so go ahead and drop it down as well. There we go. Okay, crazy, but I think it might be okay. All right, so I'm thinking we actually send... Let's split it about here. Okay. And then we actually send a bit of this bit backwards. So this guy and this guy are going to come backwards just a little bit like this. I think that'll make us, like, a cooler wing. It looks strange. That looks so weird. Um, but fine. Okay, and I'm going to send it backwards a little bit more. Okay, and then actually all of it's going to send backwards. Hey, there we go. That might be weird, but I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. It's so strange. I feel like the jet engine at the back's just a little bit too small, but I guess it's fine for now. It is fine for now. Okay, so what I'm thinking is we actually copy this bit, and we put that bit up here on both sides. And that is actually going to be our tail sort of done. I do want it to be a lot more squidged down, but that's okay. Don't worry about that too much. So grab this one, this one, this one, and this one, and send it across. So they intersect, kind of. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and shrink it. Okay, I want them to be skinny as. So do that. There we go. Lovely. Uh, and then these guys also need to be shrunk too. So grab that one, send it down. Excellent. And then overall, the entire wing can actually be lifted up, and that'll be cool. So do this. Upwards. Why does that happen? I hate when that happens. So attach it onto there. Send it across into each other. Why is this happening? It's so annoying. I could just put it on just like this. There we go. Little bit of a gap in the middle. Doesn't matter. Okay, so this is our pitch. Let's go ahead and put that on. This is our yaw. We need that. And this massive bit back here is going to be our roll. Which seems wrong, but that's okay. Alright, landing gear is the next thing we need, and then we need a bit of a cockpit. And then we can go into the sky. Maybe. Maybe, just maybe. So landing gear, yes. Let's go ahead and attach these guys to the ramjets back there. Seems like a strange place to put them, but that is, that's fine. Okay, height of this, very small. Travel, very small. Retract, yes. Angle is fine. Direction is fine. Roll. No, actually, not, not angle. What am I talking about? Ah! Angle needs to go upwards into there, which does go into the engine, but we're not going to worry about that too much. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and drag this upwards. Excellent. Angle needs to be changed, so it's actually in the engine, and there we go. Okay. Uh, that one needs to be doing the same, but we're going to go ahead and copy it real quick, and we're going to put that at the front. Just a single landing gear at the front. Here we go. Bosh. Very nice. Grab it, send it up so it fits. Add a retraction to it. Add a retraction to that one. That's everything. Good. Okay, so next thing. We need to open the wings on this guy. We need to grab these two and also these two, and we need to shrink them. A lot. It's going to be a skinny wing. There we go. Lovely. Done. Uh, next thing, we're going to go ahead and get ourselves a bit of a uh, sphere. Okay, this is going to be our fuel tank, and that's going to go in there. It's going to go in the center of there. So we're going to do this. Drop it down and in. We've got our jet fuel already in it. It's ready to go. Okay, next thing, cockpit. That's it. That is actually the last thing that we need. So let's go ahead and grab this guy, shove it on there. We're going to go ahead and make it slightly smaller than the actual fuselage, so 0.45 and 0.45. Yes, actually even smaller, 0.4 and 0.4. Here we go. Excellent. Send it forwards, do the same thing. Very nice and very nice. There we go. So if we can send these guys backwards to actually fit, that'd be perfect. So that's going to go there. This is going to go here. 
I guess. Okay, I might have to move this further down, but I don't think it'll fit. All right, it has to go there. All right, but the rest of it needs to go down as well. So mirror the X, and we're gonna have to do this. Okay, and then continue it, I guess. We're not gonna have an interior, so this doesn't matter overly, but we obviously need it to come down and into the actual plane. Otherwise, it won't work, you know? And if it doesn't work, what's the point? Here we go. Bosch that to there, good. Go ahead and copy this, send it forwards, paste it onto there. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Very nice. Uh, and now we're gonna extrude it. We're gonna do one little piece right here. We're gonna extrude it again. We're gonna send it forwards. And that's gonna get smaller and smaller as we go forwards. 0.35, yes, and 0.35 right there also. Good, I might even drag it down as we go forwards too. There you go. Extrude it again, bring it forwards. 0.25, I guess, and 0.25. Okay, it is sort of working. Extrude it again, bring it forwards, and zero and zero. There we go, okay, weird shape, but that's fine. From here, we're gonna extrude it, we're gonna do this, we're gonna extrude it again, send it backwards, zero and zero. There we go, we're gonna have it be like this. It might not be quite right, but that's okay. All right, here we go, bosh. So, we need glass. I'm also gonna split this guy, like so. We're gonna add the glass into each of this, and hopefully that'll be fine. So, glass around here. There we go. Glass, obviously, around the actual pilot himself. Excellent. And then glass around these pieces as well. Yeah. It doesn't look perfect. Definitely doesn't look perfect. And it's not actually how I would make it. Um, normally, but I decided to give it a go. But yeah, anyway. Let's go and do these all the way down the side to there. Do these guys as well. Perfect. Even that one. And then these guys as well. Yep, including all of this. There's a lot going on here. Yep, I'm actually going to do all of those. Cool. And I'm going to do every single bit of this piece, because I can. Here we go, down to there. And all of these pieces as well. Here we go. Bosh, 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 bosh. Very nice. Okay. Weird. But I think it's fine. Okay, so, now that we've done that, let me go ahead and grab this piece real quick. And bring it forwards. Bring this guy forwards a tiny bit too. And there we go. I think we have our plane. It's strange. But it might be fine. We've got our fuel as well, so that's good. Ramjets might need the oxygen one. So what I'm actually going to do is give this fuel. There's not much fuel in it, but that's okay. And it's going to be iso-octane. I think that's right. I could be wrong. Anyway, uh, we'll spawn in. We'll turn these engines off straight away. And we'll get this one working and send it to the moon. <laughs> Here we go. So we're going to go ahead and do, like, really, really low bypass on that. There we go. Race, race, blah, blah, blah. Diameter stays the same. Everything else stays the same except temperature. It's going to go all the way up. And an afterburner as well. We're going to have one of those uh, that gets us into the sky. Does it want an afterburner though? Probably not, but actually that makes the engine way bigger. Let's not give it an afterburner. Not really done that before. Anyway, let's go. Uh, launch without saving. No, I need to save this as decompression. Save, because that's the guy's name. All right, let's go. Now let's see what this does. It might just act really weirdly and not work, or it'll work. So that's good. <laughs> right, okay. Also the landing gear, I didn't check the center of mass or anything for the landing gear, but I should have. Uh, and yes, I definitely should have, because this has happened. But what I'm thinking is, we select this, this. I can't turn it off, so that doesn't matter. All right, our landing gear is very odd. Oh, why have I done that? Oh, yikes. Okay, get into the sky. Come on. You can do it. Can it do it? I don't know if it can do it. Come on. All right, those... <laughs> these ramjets are now on, interestingly enough. And we are in the air. Landing gear up. Here we go. Landing gear is inside that jet. I don't like that whatsoever. But here we go. Let's not allow fuel flow from there. And not allow fuel flow from there. So currently we're just using the sphere. Okay, and I'm going to try and ascend to heaven. Um, and then we'll use just the ramjets. I can't actually turn the ramjets off. Oh no, I can. Aha. I can turn the ramjets off if I throttle them down. Okay, right, so we got our ramjets on this side. 
Excellent. Our normal jet is the only thing propelling us right now. Might not be the best idea, but sure. Uh, and essentially, this is to try and get us up into the sky. Okay, that's what we want to do. So we're going to try and get quite high. I want to get to like 70,000 feet, but I don't know whether we're going to do it on the fuel we've got. It says 11 minutes. Actually, it says 12 minutes on the fuel we currently have. But I'm just going to continue to try and ascend. Uh, and we'll get there. So autopilot, yes. Let's go ahead and set current. Set the altitude to... I don't know what it is in meters. Uh, 18,000, I guess. Sure. And speed, we're going to go with Mach 1. Engage. Okay, so I think it's going to do it much more gradually. Are we ascending still? We're going down. Seventy-five, one, two, three. Engage. All right, I'm going to re-engage these engines because they're going to give us the thrust we need to actually move. Um, because honestly, the pitch on this isn't quite right. But that's okay. We can we can fix that. All right, send it. How much fuel have we got left in the actual sphere? Let's have a little look. That is rubbish. I'm going to have them go sideways instead. All right, here we go. So the sphere is is currently okay. I don't know why it wasn't taking any fuel from the wing tanks, though. Because I don't know whether it'll actually work, but we'll see. We're at 21,000 feet. We need to go way higher. We need to go way higher. Uh... Hmm. Hmm. Okay, we're running out of fuel very quickly. Our altitude is 22,000 feet. Okay, return to hangar. Let's uh, give this a bigger thingamabobby. So, this guy and this guy. Actually, just that one. That'll do fine. There we go. Good. I'm also going to do a little bit of this. That's fine. So, that'll work. Um, let's close this up. I do want to paint it, but I don't know what color I would paint this. Should we go with something crate? Let's just go with, like, pink. Like a bright pink. All right, paint all. Yes. Okay, that is... That is flashy. Good. So, um, I don't know whether afterburning is a good idea. I think that might be a little bit too high. I would love to drag it down, but I think it's going to go crazy. It went crazy. What if we actually put this halfway up? Okay, one's going down, one's going up. But, I mean, if I can level it out, that'll, that'll be okay. Oh... Okay, yeah, are they actually in each other? There, there, I think that's about right. So it's actually halfway up instead of at the top. The yaw will still work in there, so that's okay, but um, yeah, I don't know. Okay, can I click on this? No, not the land. Actually, no, the landing gear does need to go sideways, so 90 degrees-ish. Go ahead and have that retract. Oh, the 90 degrees? 270? Okay, that works better than expected. Oh, then, then it was, so that's fine. And we'll leave it like that. Okay, good. Ramjets, I don't think I can do anything about. This jet, though, I can make bigger. I can make longer as well. Uh, so what I want to do is this. Okay. And then I want to grab that guy and this guy. And I want to send them to the front of this, clearly. So that's going to go like this. That looks a lot better. Okay, I'm then going to grab this and move it off there because it will delete if I don't do that. So grab this guy and this guy and send it forwards. And I want to drop it down into there a little bit. I then want to drop these guys down a little bit. And then I want to put this guy that I can't click back on there. All right, here we go. Select it. Yes. I could even put it at the bottom, I suppose. And I think that might be a little bit more useful. Or I could just put it here. I'm going to put it there. Okay. Different to the design. But might work a little bit better. Also, this is too chunky. This thing is way, way, way too chunky. So grab this guy and this guy and these guys and squidge it. Like really, really a lot. There we go. Good. Is it now going to work? Maybe. All right, let's go. Let's go. Also, if you guys have been listening to my voice for almost 25 minutes, good job. And if you are still here, thank you. But anyway, let's go ahead and take off again. Oh, I forgot to change the balance. I could have done that, but never mind. Alright, I think we're going to go faster this time. 
And we are going to use the fuel to get up into the space. That's okay, too. Here we go. My yaw is a little bit off, but that's okay. And here we go. Yeah! Nice! Okay, go vertical. Here we go. Alright, maybe we shouldn't have gone vertical, but that's okay. We want to get to a really high altitude. And then we want to see how fast it goes. So I think we'd turn this one off once we got to high altitudes. But I'm not sure. I don't know. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Okay. We're going up. We are still ascending. Good. It's working. Our pink jet is flying. It is indeed. I think the uh, the move of the horizontal stabilizers was a good one. Um, and I think that's, that's perfectly fine. So let's keep going up. We're at 20,000 feet, which is where we were at last time, pretty much. We're going to continue up from there. We aren't using the wing fuel, so I'm not sure we've picked the right fuel. Uh, and then we've obviously got this. Which is at 31%. Th so if I stop that, it does use the wing fuel. Okay. But we don't want to use that just yet. No, 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 no. That's going to be our fuel for when we're in space. I say we're in space. We're at 33,000 feet so far. Let's continue up. We're going to get there. It's actually working quite well so far. I should trim it. I should really just trim pitch to be just up. Uh, controls. Yep. Yeah, pitch. Leave it at about that. There we go. So, we're getting there. We're going really high. Okay. It's working. Pitch it even more. There we go. Keep the pitch on. Very good. Okay, our fuel tank is running low, but not empty. So, that's good. And then I want to turn both of these on pretty much at the same time, but that's okay. So, what altitude are we at? 45,000 feet. Continue ascending. Continue ascending. So, I think the fuel that I'm wanting to use has oxygen in it. So, it allows us to fly really high, but also allows the fuel to actually burn properly as well. Our normal fuel has got us to 50,000 feet. And, you know, we're going to go a little bit higher than this, so that's good. We're going to keep going. It's going to be lovely. This is going to be excellent. All right, here we go. So, six... Good. 6% fuel. Keep it going. We're at 5% fuel. Excellent. We've got stuff all over our screen. If you don't want to see that, uh, then you can look at this. How lovely. How lovely. What a beautiful looking jet. Excellent. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look amazing, but obviously we built it in less than 20 minutes. Oh, 28 minutes, I should say. All right, we're at 1% bat battery fuel. So then we got to turn these guys on, and then that's our test. Empty. There we go, those guys. Let's go ahead and shut off this engine. Can't seem to. Grab it. Why can't I grab it? Ramjet, throttle. Oh. I don't know. Okay. Uh, we are actually descending. It's not going well. I don't think this fuel is actually very good for us. Not really. Because we're at 53,000 feet and going down. Yikes. Big yikes. Okay. Let's return to the hangar and work this out. So I don't think this fuel is any good. I thought it would be for jets. It's not. Or maybe it is. Maybe it is for jets at really high altitude. I'm not sure. Um, okay, so we got that. Let's go ahead and add some fuel into here as well. I just want fuel tanks everywhere right now. Fuel tank in there. And we're going to have to add another one of these inside as well. So let's do that. Here we go. Put it there. Send it forwards. There we go. We got a fuel tank just behind the pilot. And it's poking through the bottom. Let's not allow that. There you go. Now it's poking through the top. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Can I make it slightly smaller? I think I can. Let's just do this. Boop. There we go. Good. Do the same thing on this one. Boop. There we go. Good. Uh, and now we're ready to go. The other thing is, as well, I am going to move these guys backwards. Because they're not in the right place. So there you go. 
Bosh. Now it'll actually work fine, I think. We're also going to give this one a little bit more height so that it works. And there we go. So instead of spawning where we spawned, let's spawn really high in the sky. Altitude offset, I don't know, 500 for this and 18,500 for this launch. This might be really bad. This might be a really bad idea, but let's try it. It'll be fine. Do -do -do -do. 30 minutes, 30 minute video. If you guys have made it to this point, let me know by saying banana in the comments. I don't know. We're at 60,000 feet. Okay, going 800 miles an hour. Our engine is probably very cold. Okay. Net thrust is a positive number, so that's good. We don't have an afterburner on this thing, remember. We should probably have an afterburner on it. But we are over the speed of sound. So we are actually supersonic right now in our pink jet. Lovely. Nice. 900 miles an hour. We are actually going up. That is actually going up. Let's go to controls. And pitch. I'm just going to go ahead and set to full. And there we go. Okay. Do, 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 do. We're at 912 miles an hour. I want to reach like a thousand miles an hour if I can in this thing. Uh, but I'm not sure it will. Also, we're descending. Something's not right. Something's not quite right here. Is that actually producing thrust? It is. Is it producing enough thrust? I can't actually click on that engine. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, what about these? Uh, net thrust, not very much. So compared to that engine on the back, these guys aren't actually doing all that much. Not really. And I don't know why. So yeah. Okay, return to hangar. Do, 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 do. Combustion temperature. Diffuser. Okay, can I set this to like one? What happens if I set that to one? Let's see. Because essentially the diffuser in the middle controls how fast the fuel goes through the ramjets. And if that's not right, it won't be very good. Okay, let's have a little look, see what it looks like now. So net thrust is currently zero. Net thrust is zero. They're not doing anything. This one? Five. So they're not doing anything. So we need to fix that. What the what the hell? Okay, go ahead and set this to 0 0.1. And then set this to like 4,000. Can it go to 4,000? No, it's as max as it can be. Yikes. Uh-oh. I don't think they're working very well. I, I really don't think they're working very well. Not that I've really used them that much, and not that I know how to use them efficiently or effectively, but I thought this would be a little bit better. All right, here we go. So what's their thrust now? Let's have a little look. Two. That's not good. Two new... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Two is not good. Um, okay, how about we return to the hangar and we change this to not jet fuel, but we'll go with like iso octane and see if that works. Here we go. Because it might just be that they're not getting enough oxygen. And if they're not getting enough oxygen, then they're not going to work well. Uh, but we'll see. We will see now. Here we go. Okay. So they're not at two yet. It's because it's not using this fuel tank yet. So grab this one. Don't allow fuel out of that one. Okay, good. And then go to the rear one as well. If I can. Or is it the rear one that I've already selected? Don't allow fuel out of that one either. It is getting better. But I don't know whether that's because we're descending. It might be. Anyway, we've built a jet that works. I'm actually really happy with it. It's a shame that we didn't get to a thousand miles an hour. Uh, and the fact that it doesn't fly at this altitude very well. But it's still cool. We could dive and maybe try and get to a thousand miles an hour that. Like that. Alright, here we go. We're diving. We're at 940. That's the quickest we've been so far. 950, 960. Oh, it's not liking this. We hit a thousand. We have hit a thousand miles an hour. 
This thing is wanting to break apart so badly. But there you go. Whee! Look at it go. Nice. Okay, we should try and land it too, because I haven't landed anything yet. Here we go. Can I pitch up? I don't think I'm going to be able to. I think we're dead. I think we... Oh, no, I'm trying. We're almost pitched up. We are pitching up. Oh, yikes. Oh, pitch up. Yes. Slowly but surely, we actually did it there. We got to the right pitch. That's lucky. And now we're going to drop our landing gear as soon as we slow down a little bit more. Because it's still going 500 miles now. Okay, I'm going to bleed off air by just wiggling. Bleed off speed, that's what I meant. There we go. 200 miles an hour. 240, 230, 220, 210. Okay, dropping my landing gear now. I don't want to throttle up too much, obviously. Here we go. We're going in for an actual landing. I've cut the throttle. We are down on the ground. I don't know how to turn the brakes on. I forgot. I've forgotten how to turn the brakes on. I've been told a few times. But again, <laughs> I've forgotten. Anyway, uh, we landed actually kind of softly for the speeds we were going, but that's okay. Uh, we did it. We actually built the plane. Hopefully you guys actually enjoyed this video. It is on Frantic Extra, so if you guys feel free, if you want to, uh, consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this one. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.